I have a homework project for you. I want you to take a pickup truck, put a pitching machine on the back, and start driving at exactly 100 kilometers per hour. You can have one person on the back of the pickup truck, one person driving. The person on the back, once you get to 100 kilometers per hour, shoots the ball out of the pitching machine. Wait, you're telling me you don't have those things? What kind of physics students are you? さあ、トラックが時速 Pretty tense, right? Welcome to Flip Physics. Today we're going to introduce a second dimension to our thinking. The world is 3D, so we're getting closer. In physics, we tend to look at the X and Y dimensions separately. By splitting up like that, we make it much easier to understand physical situations. But there's a more fundamental reason we split them up. Let me ask you a question. If I could shoot a ball sideways and drop a ball at exactly the same time, which would hit the ground first? Click here to vote in a poll on that very question. Don't cheat, you won't lose points for getting it wrong. Okay, now let's try it. Um. Uh, I think maybe we can do better than that. So this equipment is designed specifically for that purpose, to shoot an object and drop an object at exactly the same time. All I have to do is arm it by pulling this against the spring and behind one of these little pieces of metal. I'll do that now. I place one of these ball bearings on this end and I, this other ball bearing has a hole in it. I'm gonna place that over this end. And then all I have to do is pull this one trigger and this ball will shoot that way and that ball will drop straight down. Okay, so all I have to do is press the trigger. You ready? And you, you have to really, really concentrate. Like, you have to look really carefully. Don't take your eyes off these two places. Look very, very carefully. Okay. Keep looking. Oh, and don't blink. Like, if you blink, you might miss it. It's very quick. So concentrate, just stare at this device. Oh, just so you know, we're probably only going to do this once. Just once. Okay. Do you see it? Which one hit the ground first? Okay, so maybe not. I think we need to slow this down. So as you can see, they hit the ground at exactly the same time. This is because what happens in the X direction does not affect what happens in the Y direction. In the X direction, the ball we shoot moves at a constant speed. Maybe air resistance slows it down a little bit, but pretty much it moves at a constant speed. There's not very much to speed it up or slow it down until it hits the ground. It moves at a constant speed until the ground stops it. In the Y direction, the object starts with a velocity of zero because it's just like dropping a ball. If we shoot it sideways, in the y direction, the velocity starts off as zero. In the instant you let it go, it isn't moving. And then in the y direction, it accelerates. It speeds up at a rate of 9.8 meters per second every second, just like we talked about in the freefall video. The fact that the ball is also moving in the x direction has no effect on the freefall in the y direction. Now let's have a go at drawing some graphs of the motion of the shot ball. Let's assume there's no air resistance slowing the ball down. Click here to make your best guess about what you think the graphs will look like. All right, so you're done? 
Here's the textbook answer. In the X direction, the ball moves at a constant velocity. Without air resistance, the ball would keep going at that same speed forever. The only reason it eventually stops is because it hits the ground. In the Y direction, these graphs look exactly the same as the ones from the freefall video. Because in the Y direction, it's just like dropping a ball. The fact that it's moving sideways affects nothing. So both balls fall just the same way. But what about something going really fast, like a bullet? If you shoot a bullet, does it really fall at the same rate as it would if you just dropped it? Click here to watch a clip where they investigate just that question. So yes, the laws of physics apply just the same way to a bullet. There's nothing special happening there. To finish this video, let's go back to our homework project. If you shoot a ball off the back of a moving truck at exactly the same speed that the truck is moving, but just in the opposite direction, what happens? To find out, click this link. What happens is that the two velocities in the X direction cancel each other out. When the ball is inside the pitching machine, it's already moving at 100 kilometers per hour to the left. If you shoot it at 100 kilometers per hour to the right, then its total X velocity is zero. The two velocities, the two vectors, cancel each other out. And because the X direction has no effect on the Y direction, the ball simply falls. Personally, I'm not at all surprised that the Japanese get so excited and dramatic about that. Why wouldn't you? Physics is awesome. That's the Japanese for you, doing physics right. Thanks for watching Flip Physics. Please comment below with your questions, thoughts, and suggestions. If you like this video, you can press the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.